Hey beautiful Geminis, welcome back to the channel guys. Thank you so very much for joining me. I hope you're doing fabulous. Gemini's messages please and thank you spirit. Messages for Gemini. Messages for Gemini. Gemini, thank you so much for your generosity. All your likes, your comments, your subscriptions are deeply, deeply appreciated. Oh, loneliness. Surrender. Some adversity here. Well, challenges are the best way to learn. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. It's taking care of your health, taking care of your physical vessel. I accept that everything happens in divine order and this is uh, freedom. I possess the power and free will to create my own happiness. Self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit myself and others. Re being responsible for your own happiness surrendering the rest i mean we can't there's loneliness here so it's like i will honor my vessel that enshrines my soul i'm going to look after myself i am going to accept whatever challenges are there knowing that i can get through them all and I am never alone. Love and peace, but it was crossing the reed. Let go of the need to be right. So somebody is holding on the need to be right, creating them some kind of adversity. It's okay. Maybe somebody does not love themselves. Maybe somebody's self-esteem is like, I'm not going to be at peace until I get the love that I want. I don't want to be lonely. Hmm. Increased awareness. Trust your inner voice. Humanity and bene benevolence stay calm. Have faith. Downloads and understanding. Truths are being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm. Okay. Someone needs to release the need to be right, whether that's you or who is ever on your mind. Ancient healing wisdom. This is lightning. Adversity. Tempers flaring. Someone brewing up a storm here. New beginnings, celebrations, dancing alone, because you're never alone. This person's alone on the card, but they're not alone. They're having a heyday. They're having a good old time here. <laughs> What's going on? Gemini.
We cannot be responsible for others' happiness. We can only be responsible for our own. Gemini. As you show up, the lovers. Lightning. What's going on? Someone's sneaking out. Be patient. Someone needs to let go of the need to be right. Something about mm. someone's got to give up the need to control. This person is like. I don't know. So this could be a married couple or someone figures that they can control someone if they're married to them. Someone figures that they, if they they can control someone by marrying them. But in this marriage, it's controlling. It's like, why is there so much hurt here and manipulation? <laughs> Whoever this high priestess is over here, this patient person over here, <laughs> they got it figured out. They're like, I'm not worried about being alone. They're a leader. They're like trusting their intuition. They're moving on. They're starting a new life. This is, they're happy. They're responsible for their own happiness. Why is this person crying? Why is they feeling like a victim? And why is someone so angry? Why is this person acting like a victim? And they're angry. Like someone is obviously blaming someone. Has to be right about something. Blaming the other person. Well, you're responsible for your own happiness. This, this is someone who is happy. With or without anybody. They're alone, probably. This is a married couple. But they're resentful. They're like... It's up to you. 
up to somebody else to make him happy. I don't know. I don't know. This person is just healing and they're doing their thing. This person could be afraid of being alone. This is like someone is just like No, I'm right. No, I'm right. No, I'm right. I'm right. It's just a broken cog here. It's not going anywhere. It's not achieving anything. Something you... It's immature. It's just being foolish. Somebody's always searching for other people, other situations to make them happy. They search and they search and they search. Well, this will make me happy. And then they get it. And then it's like, well, this ain't making me happy. And it's your fault. And, and they play the victim. Why they're unhappy. Why they're miserable. Why they're... It's like playing the victim. And then going searching for the next thing. Thinking that's going to make them happy. And then they get that thing. And then... It's an endless searching. This person is lonely, so they go searching. Searching for fulfillment. Searching for something to make them feel whole. What the hell? This is codependency. It is. It's like the wounded warrior. They're playing the wounded warrior. The poor me. I'm the victim. Crying over spilt milk. It's like expecting someone else to make them happy. And then getting hurt and pretending like they're the victim. I don't know. They're reaping what they've sown. Now, this person had an empress, a star. A light worker. And then they play the victim because it didn't turn out. They had to be right. This person had, this king of wands needed to be right. They're codependent. They don't know how to be alone. They play the victim. They play like they're the victim. You know, crying over spilled milk, how they got hurt, how the empress hurt them. Come off it. What role did they play in it? What role did they play? They're not accepting accountability for their role in it. Their role 
is they don't know how to be alone. They always got to be working, surround themselves with family, surround themselves with other lovers, surround themselves with friends. When do they have freaking time for an empress? I just want to know. They're always searching, searching for someone to make them happy. Other people having to make them happy, to make them feel whole, to make them feel content when they have accepted no responsibility for their own happiness. Money, I tried money, money doesn't fulfill me. <laughs> I've tried third parties, that's not fulfilling. Hell, I even married somebody, that's not fulfilling. This person has really got a problem. They need some kind of lesson. This is somebody who's confident being alone. Me, myself, and I. I'm okay. I'm healing, I'm happy, I'm excited for my new beginning. Is this a self-fulfilling prophecy? Kinda think it is. They choose to drink and they choose to blame. They're the selfish ones and the arrogant ones. And they blame the, air, the empress. But this person is not taking accountability for their own actions. Why is it up to the empress to fulfill this person's every need and whim and, you know, why? Isn't it up to them to feel fulfilled on their own? They're never going to be content unless they learn to be content with themselves. Denial. Uh, I didn't say anything. I didn't do anything wrong. It wasn't me. That's immature. They don't know how to be alone. They don't know how, so they keep repeating a cycle. This person doesn't know how to live alone, be alone, think alone. They are surrounded by people. They are surrounded by friends. They are surrounded by family. They are surrounded by options, backup options, in case something breaks up, in case something goes wrong, they can go right into the arms of someone else. Because they don't know how to be alone. They don't. That's an emperor. Has to be right. Stubborn. See? Gotta have backup. Win at all costs. It's like this person has low self-esteem and they have something to prove. I can get somebody else just like that. 
I can get someone else just like that. You wait and see. I'll show you. I'll show you. This is a right fighter. Needs to be right. Can't accept that somebody else could be correct. Told you. Right fighter. I don't care. I'm right. I don't care. I'm right. And expects everybody else to respect their choices and respect their decisions that they make when most people know that they're making a mistake and probably try to warn this person that they're making a mistake, but they don't want to hear it. Melodrama. Their decisions are correct. Their judgments are correct. And if anybody goes against their decision, and if anybody goes against their... They feel wounded. They play the victim. Feel betrayed. I got stabbed in the back. This is somebody who keeps repeating a cycle. Oh my God, but you can't tell them anything. This is someone you can't tell them anything. They know it all. So if they know it all, they're not willing to learn. It's like they keep repeating the same thing with everyone they go to. It's like, I'm the victim feel sorry for me. I am the wounded party. People disagreed with me. I, I mean, <laughs> they have to be right. And this person, they may not speak it, but they think it. And they are out to prove everybody wrong. It's almost as if this person is saying, the reason why I'm in these painful situations, it's everyone else's fault. This one I was with did this. This one I was with did that. It's their fault. I had nothing to do with it. I don't know how to be alone. They don't know how to be alone. So they go out, they run amok, they get themselves into third-party situations. Their friends, their family, everything becomes a priority. Everything becomes a priority except for the love of their life. But they'll swear up and down they are the victim. I love them. I did everything for them. I was so good to them. Blah, blah, blah. No, they weren't. No, they were not. They were not. This empress was not a priority. This empress was on the last of their list. But they're right. Easily insulted. You can't talk to this person. You cannot talk to this person without telling them what they want to hear. As long as you're willing to tell them what they want to hear, they're going to be just fine. 
as long as you feed their ego, stroke their ego, they got no issue with you. Problem is, Gemini. Gemini is pretty blunt. Gemini is pretty straightforward. Gemini is going to speak their truth. They're going to say. So you're going to butt heads with this emperor. Because they're right. They'll always be right. My way or the highway. As long as Gemini is willing to put up with that. All is good. But Lord forbid if you have your own opinion or your own ideas. They will decide when. They will decide how to spend the money. They will decide what to do with it. They will decide when they have time. They will, this is like love on demand. You give me what I want, when I want it, and we'll get along just fine. But if you disagree with that, we're going to have a problem here. They're not going to come straight out and say that, but they want to control it. They want to control everything. Everything. But they'll never tell you that. This is weird. Like they want control, but they don't want to look like they want control. They want everybody to like make them the center of attention. They want to be the center of attention. They're smarter. They know more. They're, they don't care. It, it, it's like, I'm right. And that's, they just are stubborn. I'm right. And that's all there is to it. They can't see other people's perspectives. Unless, of course, they're trying to look good to other people. That's an arc. The Five of Swords, the King of Swords is a narcissist. I'm right. I'm right. This is the way it is. This have a happy home life that way. So, but they can't be alone. They don't know what to do if their entourage isn't hanging all over them. <coughs> they don't know how to be alone. They're codependent. If they don't have all their friends hanging all over them all the time, if they don't have their family nearby them, if they don't have their lover, they're on their way to find one. Because they don't know how to be alone. And it's always, they come out the victim. Victim. Everybody hurt them. That's a lie. It's not accurate, but have fun believing that. They got a bump on themselves. They do. They certainly do. They think they're superior. They got to be the center of attention. And if they don't get it, they're potent. Kind of life is that? You're as far as I'm concerned. 
When you're in a relationship like that, you're alone anyway. So why be in one? They gotta be surrounded. You know what I mean? They gotta be surrounded by friends and family and work and they can't have like this person would freak the hell out if they didn't have their cell phone they would freak they would freak out if they had to spend a week alone not talking to anybody they would freak out they would go crazy they could not do it they'd have to be sedating themselves for real take care